Today, uh, I'd like to talk about radiation-related risks of uh, non-cancer outcomes in the atomic bomb survivors. Uh, this uh, slide shows the uh, structure of uh, atomic bomb cohort. Um, the life span study is the uh, whole cohort of the, our uh, members of uh, the atomic bomb survivors. Then, uh, for the epidemiological studies. Then, uh, the adult health study uh, is a sub cohort of lifespan studies uh, whose members were uh, randomly selected, uh, stratified by radiation exposure status uh, from the members of lifespan uh, studies. So, uh, life, uh, members of lifespan study are, has been followed up by vital statistics and population-based uh, cancer registries. The information uh, was limited to uh, death and cause of death and cancer incidence. Uh, compared with uh, the information uh, on uh, LSS, uh, the uh, members of adult health study uh, have been followed up for uh, by the uh, uh, biennial health examination at our institute. Uh, the information is more detailed uh, for questionnaire surveys, uh, physical examination, uh, blood examination, and the members were also uh, asked for donation of research biosamples, uh, for example, the blood and urines and so on. So uh, the information uh, uh, from the adult health studies uh, is more detailed compared with LSS, but the analysis uh, based on the AHS uh, is usually limited to the participant in a, a specific period because uh, the, the method methodological uh, issues on uh, medical technologies are changed uh, during the period and other uh, reasons. So uh, we need to uh, be careful uh, about uh, the interpretation of uh, the uh, results from LSS and AHS when uh, they are different, uh, they show their different uh, results. And this will show the uh, radiation-related risks of non-cancer outcomes among LSS, uh, LSS report 14. Uh, apparently, uh, circulatory disease and respiratory diseases indicated uh, the uh, significantly increased risks. Uh, digestive disease and genital disease and other diseases are relatively uh, small effects. So uh, I'd like to first uh, to introduce uh, the, the results of cardiovascular diseases. Uh, first of all, uh, we need to understand uh, the background aspect of CVD in Japan, uh, how they are different uh, from uh, Western countries, and uh, what uh, we should be careful uh, for the interpretation of uh, death certificate in Japan. Then. Uh, I'll introduce the uh, results about uh, radiation risks among atomic bomb survivors. This uh, shows the mortality of subtypes of heart disease in Japan and Western countries. The left columns show the uh, Japanese population, and the right columns show uh, the US and the UK populations. The first uh, mortality of heart disease has been much lower uh, in Japan compared uh, with US or UK populations. The second of the popula uh, proportion of arteriosclerotic or ischemic heart disease uh, has been smaller in Japan uh, compared uh, with the US or UK. And this will show the uh, trend of crude mortality rates of CVD in Japan uh, during in uh, 1950 to the uh, current date. Uh, first, uh, the uh, cerebral hemorrhage had markedly decreased during this period, and instead, uh, cerebral infarction and heart disease uh, had increased, especially heart failure uh, increased. However, uh, after uh, the change uh, of uh, ICD, uh, from 9th to 10th in 1995, 
uh, we uh, Japanese doctors uh, are instructed that uh, the uh, diagnosis of heart failure uh, should be avoided uh, for underlying cause of death in death certificates. Uh, therefore, uh, the uh, mortality rate of heart failure suddenly decreased and uh, instead uh, the uh, mortality rate of cerebral infarction and even acute myocardial infarction uh, increased. So uh, the these diagnoses uh, may include a misclassified diagnosis between them or uh, including the uh, uncertain situations at death. Uh, it is uh, said that, it is usually said that the uh, heart failure is a garbage uh, diagnosis at the death, so uh, they might uh, include uh, hidden or undiagnosed malignancies. So uh, uh, this uh, this uh, shows the uh, relatively specific aspect of pathogenesis of CVD in Japan. Uh, first, uh, the hypertension uh, is the most potent risk factor in Japan for stroke, uh, of course, uh, for several hemorrhage and uh, even for a several infarction. Uh, this uh, table showed uh, the uh, uh, subtypes of several infarction and the Lachner uh, infarction uh, has been the dominant types of uh, Japanese uh, several infarction, uh, which is uh, strongly associated with hypertension. Then the uh, ather uh, atherothrombotic and cardioembolic uh, infarction uh, has been not so uh, much dominant in Japan. And uh, hypertension is also an uh, uh, important risk factor uh, even for ischemic heart disease in Japan. And of course, uh, hypercholesterolemia uh, has been the, uh, the other uh, important risk factor of uh, heart disease, but uh, the prevalence uh, in Japan was not so high, uh, especially in older generations, uh, including uh, the generation of atomic bomb survivors. Uh, from now, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, the results from the uh, LSS or AHS of the atomic bomb survivors. Uh, as you know, uh, this report, uh, the uh, stroke and uh, heart disease uh, had a significantly increased uh, risks of radiation exposure uh, especially uh, stroke had uh, uh, possible uh, upward curvature uh, in those response. Uh, however, uh, the uh, risks were uh, much heterogeneous uh, between the subtypes. Uh, for example, uh, the ischemic heart disease, including myocardial infarction, uh, didn't uh, show the, any increased risks, and uh, or uh, several infarction or uh, several hemorrhage didn't show uh, any increased risks. Instead, uh, the hypertensive heart disease, rheumatic heart disease, or heart failure, and other types of unspecified stroke uh, showed increased risks. Uh, in general, uh, specific, uh, specified types of subtypes of heart disease or stroke didn't show any increased risks, uh, whereas the uh, rather ill-defined uh, subtypes uh, showed an increased risks. This I show the uh, reported uh, the uh, uh, CVD uh, risks from AHS. A relatively uh, old uh, report. The hypertension and the myocardial infarction among the subject uh, who are exposed at young age uh, had uh, increased risks in uh, uh, quadratic dose response models. However, uh, in a, a linear dose response model, there is no increased risks. Uh, another report indicated that the hemorrhagic, uh, hemorrhagic stroke uh, risk of the, uh, the risk was increased uh, with uh, potential threshold in females. But uh, the uh, risks of 
uh, ischemic stroke uh, didn't increase. Uh, renal diseases. Uh, renal diseases are thought to be a possible intermediate cause from radiation exposure to CVD. Uh, from LSS as well as uh, AHS, uh, there are some uh, reports that indicated uh, the uh, significantly increased risk of renal diseases by radiation exposure. So I'd like, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, the results of current uh, preliminary, uh, uh, preliminary results of current analysis uh, for updated, uh, based on updated uh, data up to 2008. Uh, by a period, uh, the period uh, defined by the ICD revisions and development of medical procedures of during this period. Uh, the other methodologies are almost the same as in the previous report. This I showed the, uh, uh, those response uh, during the whole period. For ischemic heart diseases, uh, no, significant, no, no significant risk uh, was observed. Uh, but uh, nominally, uh, a quadratic function uh, showed the best fit. Uh, for valvular heart disease, uh, hypertensive organ damage, and heart failure uh, significantly increased our uh, risks was, were observed, and uh, uh, with uh, linear dose response. Then the th uh, threshold of these responses uh, were almost zero, and the lowest dose range with the significant uh, risks uh, were relatively high. This uh, shows uh, the results by subtypes and the period. For ischemic heart disease and myocardial infarction, others uh, indicated no uh, increased risks by any period. Valvular heart disease uh, increased risk uh, recently, uh, it, uh, based on uh, uh, non rheumatic valvular heart diseases. But uh, uh, specifically, uh, rheumatic heart disease indicated an increased risk in the uh, earliest period. Uh, hypertensive organ damage uh, indicated the increased risks uh, in the early period and persisted, uh, the risk, increased risk persisted uh, during, uh, uh, until, to, uh, until this uh, period. Heart failure uh, increased, uh, indicated the increased risks uh, in this period. Uh, that is the, uh, corresponding to the uh, highest uh, mortality rate of heart failure in Japan. So I'd like to summarize the findings of latency exposure and CVD. And first, a shape uh, of the dose response uh, of CVD, especially when including non-fatal incidence outcomes, uh, seems to be non-linear and primarily dependent on the response at high dose levels. Then the uh, association may be mediated uh, through hypertension rather than atherosclerosis are based on the uh, aspect of uh, CVD in Japanese population. And renal, renal disorders by radiation exposure uh, may be the intermediate cause to hypertension. And uh, these, uh, specific, uh, these specific findings that increase risk of rheumatic heart disease uh, in the uh, early period uh, may be a secondary association uh, because the increased risk of streptococcal infection among proximal survivors, uh, they are in poorer hyg hygienic uh, conditions uh, compared to distal survivors. Then the increased risk of non-rheumatic valvular diseases uh, recently uh, is a remaining issue. Uh, it may be associated with uh, the increasing uh, in atherosclerotic regions in uh, CVD in Japan. Then finally, uh, the heart disease and other ill-defined disease categories, uh, the underlying cause of death might include undiagnosed malignancies, so uh, there may be a risk, uh, there may be, uh, the risk might be increased. Uh, 
The next, uh, I'd like to talk about non-cancer respiratory diseases, NCRD, in the atomic bomb survivors. This slide shows the radiation uh, dose response of uh, radiation risks for all non-cancer uh, 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 respiratory diseases in LSS during this period uh, on the upper uh, panels. Um, all non-cancer respiratory diseases uh, mostly consist of the pneumonia and influenza and uh, such kinds of uh, inflammatory diseases of lung. Then the lower uh, panels, uh, the trend of crude mortality of all NCRD in Japan uh, to the corresponding period. In the first period, uh, there is almost no uh, increased risks uh, at low and intermediate dose levels, but at highest dose level, uh, the uh, risk uh, signif was significantly increased. At that period, uh, those uh, respiratory diseases were the epidemics, uh, acute infectious diseases uh, with the periodic uh, epidemic, uh, but, uh, but uh, uh, the trend is uh, decreased to the uh, 1970s. This uh, increased point uh, may, may be due to uh, the, uh, excuse me, uh, mm, those uh, uh, who were uh, severely injured by bomb, atomic bomb explosions or uh, due to the uh, determinate, deterministic effects of radiation because uh, they were the most proximal survivors. Then, uh, during this period, uh, the lowest uh, mortality rate uh, in Japan, th there is almost no uh, increased risks by radiation. Then, the uh, mortality rate of respiratory diseases increased again. In this period, uh, the respiratory uh, diseases uh, consist of the mostly the terminal stage diseases among elderly people, uh, including um, aspiration, uh, aspiration pneumonia or pneumonias in compromised host or such kinds of diseases. So in, in this uh, period, um, radiation-related re risks uh, increased, again, uh, linearly. So, um, in, in according to uh, the aspect of these diseases, uh, these increased risks may be due to the um, undiagnosed malignancies or so. Then, uh, the uh, the ERR, uh, the extreme, uh, hazard ratio, uh, were adjusted for uh, the cancer instance and in the uh, comorbid cancer, and also uh, CVD in the, the, the certificate. Uh, in such cases, uh, the uh, magnitude of ERR reduced by the adjustment. So uh, the association uh, between non-cancer respiratory diseases and radiation exposure could in part be attributed to ca instance cancer and or cardio cardiovascular diseases. So I'd like to conclude these presentations. Um, some of non-cancer diseases showed increased radiation-related risks at relatively high dose levels with non-linear dose responses. Uh, deaths of ill-defined disease categories are the underlying cause of death might include undiagnosed or unrecorded malignancies, and it might be partially associated with the increased risks uh, of those diseases. Hypertension uh, has been the most potent risk factor of CVD in Japan and seems to be a major intermediate cause of radiation effects on CVD. Then the method, methodological difference in collection of information of outcomes in LSS and IHS need attention uh, for their interpretation and also need attention to the change in backlog rates of 
non-cancer diseases during the long follow-up period of this uh, atomic bomb survivors cohort. Thank you for your attention.